Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna provide details on this submission from inside the closed guard. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Professor Matt, this is Logan Double Gold. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. We're gonna be answering another request today on how to do the triangle choke from inside the closed guard. So I'll have Logan inside my closed guard. And we're just gonna change our angle a bit here. All right, so Logan's inside my closed guard. First thing I'm looking to do, as always, is set up my grips. So I'm gonna look for a same side sleeve grip. I'm either gonna use a hook grip or a pistol grip, whichever one you feel like you have the best control with is the one you should use. So I'm gonna go with my hook grip here. Uh, again, I'm gonna be looking to make that collar grip, so I'm gonna suck my knees to the chest, get control of the collar nice and deep because I want it to help me with controlling his posture. As he's posturing back up, that's when I'm gonna open up my guard here. So I'm gonna use this time to stretch him out, make him feel a little bit uncomfortable, and get him to start to look to see if he can relieve the pressure here. As he's doing that, I'm gonna slip my leg out and come over top of his arm, brushing this off my hip. And then what I'm gonna look to do is pull on his collar and get this leg over his shoulder and secure this high guard. Once I have the high guard, I'm gonna look to raise my hips and get his arm to come around to the other side. I want this as deep as I can because I'm using this side of his shoulder to cut off this artery on this side of his neck. The next thing I'm gonna to look to do is control his posture with my hands on his head, grab onto my shin, which is gonna allow me to open up my guard, put my foot on his hip, and re-get a different angle on this, further rotating his shoulder into this side of his neck here. So once I've accomplished that, I'm gonna take my foot that's on his hip, I get it over my leg and I'm going to be dorsal flexing both of my feet now so that I can activate the inside muscles of my leg. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be changing this angle, pulling on this arm, and then I'm squeezing my legs and I'm going to get the tap. So I'm just going to show you the action that's happening with my legs here. I don't want to just like pull down per se. What I'm going to be doing is I'm locking this over my foot dorsal flexing my feet, and then as I'm bringing my knees together, I'm also creating this like uh, sawing kind of motion into Logan's neck. So let's take a look at that from the other side. All right, so I'm gonna get Logan back inside of my clothes guard. So I'm getting control of the sleeve. I've got my hook grip. I'm gonna off balance him to get the collar to come close so I can make a nice high grip to control his posture. As he's posturing up, I open my guard, I slip my hips out, and I get in a little bit of control. Notice how much I'm extending the arm. I wanna get some nice tight tension on the cloth here. And then as he's trying to relieve the pressure, I'm slipping my right leg out brushing away his left arm and bringing my left leg over his shoulders to more so control and break his posture. Once I've achieved that, I like to just go to a high guard here. I don't really have the legs for it, so this allows me time to readjust and set this choke up properly. If you have the legs to do it, you can go right into a full triangle here, but generally, like I say, for me, I can't. So high guard is nice, especially when they're fighting really hard and trying to posture. So as he's trying to posture, that's a great time to lift the hips and dump the arm and then re-secure his posture by grabbing onto my leg. And sometimes if I need to, I'm holding onto his head, okay? so. Once I've controlled his posture and I know I'm gonna be able to open this configuration up, I'm gonna take my left leg, I put it on his hip, and then I'm pushing on his hip so that I can re-angle here. So I'm pulling on my left, or sorry, my right shin in order to twist and get myself over to the other side here. Once I've accomplished that, I bring my foot off of his hip and I'm gonna get it right over top of my foot and notice how I start to dorsal flex. So when we're dorsal flexing, we're pulling the toes back towards the shin, okay? So we don't wanna point here, all right? The dorsal flex, again, is gonna start to activate the muscles that are on the insides of my leg, which are great for when I'm trying to close off the arteries on this choke. So I get this dorsal flex, and then the next thing I'm looking to do is dive in under and get control of this arm, 
All right. Once I have that, I'm squeezing my knees, I'm doing that scissor motion, and I get the tap, and we've completed the lock on the triangle choke. All right, so Logan's in my closed guard. I get control of the sleeve, I'm off balancing to get control of the collar as he's posturing up, I open up my guard. I'm looking for him to try to relieve the pressure. Then I'm looking to sweep this leg out, bring it over his shoulder, I make a high guard as he's posturing and bringing his arm over. And so sometimes I find like if they're really resilient to the choke, then I can always look to start to see if I can scoop this arm up. So I'm looking to do like an underhook on this. I scoop it up to my shoulder where I'm gonna reinforce with my ear to my shoulder. And then I'm looking to get the blade side of my wrist right where his elbow meets his tricep, I make a gable grip, and then I'm kind of doing a little bit of an internal rotation as I'm pulling down to get the tap on that arm bar on the other side of this triangle. So a little extra added bonus there for you with uh, arm bar on the other side of that triangle. All right, if you picked up any details on that, hit that like button, share, comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for coming, everybody.